I'm Mike Tamayo with Backscatter Underwater Video and Photo, here today to talk about the new CNC Optical YS Converter. This new product is currently available for the Nikon D7100 with many new models to follow shortly. For years, photographers had to rely on external TTL converters and electronic sync cables, but with this new product from CNC, you can now use the fiber optic cables, which are maintenance free. In our testing, we found the TTL converter to be even more accurate than the camera's internal flash, giving you one more reason to look at this product as a solution. By not using the camera's internal flash, we're able to preserve battery life, giving you more shooting performance. We tried this product with both ion and CNC strobes, but found that the performance of the TTL was slightly better than the CNC strobes, which are also recommended. Now, let's take a look at installation and see how easy it is for a user to install. Included with the converter, are two small aluminum grommets. These are designed to direct the light even closer into the fiber optic cable for maximum performance. The converter runs on two AAA batteries, which are readily available at any local store. Place the insert inside the housing and secure with the Phillips head screw. The converter should fit flush and snug, and if anything feels amiss, back it out and try again. Once that's installed, move your hot shoe cable out of the way and insert your camera. Lock it into place and place the hot shoe adapter into the rear of your hot shoe with arrow facing forward. Now today we're going to be trying it with the CNC YSD1 strobe. As you can see on the rear here, there are three different strobe options available, the YS110 Alpha, the YS01, and the YSD1. Using a small That's screwdriver, you can make your selection. Make sure the arrow is pointing to the correct strobe. Now there are two of these available for both the left and the right side in case you are mixing and matching two different types. Close the back of the housing up and connect your fiber optic cable. Now CNC has announced a new fiber optic cable for use of this converter, which is designated by the black ends. The gray ones will still work, but for the best performance, you want to look to these as your solution. Turn the strobe to TTL and turn your camera on. Now with compatible models, there's a button on the rear as well as a clear window allowing you to see the mode that you're in as well as the turn on indicator. This button allows you to turn the unit on and cycle between the TTL and manual modes and shut the unit off. Now for the good part. Let's see how this baby shoots. Now that's performance we haven't seen out of a fiber optic cable ever. And without having to use that pop-up flash, you're going to get rapid fire TTL and manual shooting and still preserving your battery life as much as possible. Also, no external electronics means a more secure, maintenance-free solution for those of you who maybe aren't the best with the O-rings. Again, CNC currently has this model available for the D7100 from Nikon, but many more models are set to follow. Be sure to catch all of our exploits here at Backscatter and visit us on the web at backscatter.com. I'm Michael Tamayo, and we'll see you underwater.